what day is that? It is Wednesday the 3rd of June 2020. What time is that? It's 7.25pm. It's 7.25pm and it is pissing down with rain outside. Um, I would open the door to um, show you how heavy the rain is, but I don't want to disturb these pigeons. Because they're, actually no, I'm not going to. Because they're, they're just chilling there. I like those two pigeons, they're always sitting on my fence. Anyway, um, I haven't made a video in ages because I haven't wanted to, basically. Just wanted a break. And uh, I need to uh, do some stuff in my kitchen. Now when I first moved here, I did quite a lot of things showing me decorating the, my new place and stuff. And then I just sort of stopped. And um, I really need to carry on. And um, the kitchen is a big thing. Now, this picture's fallen down. It was up with these uh, command strips here. Now, I'm not blaming the command strips for it falling down because the problem was the uh, wall is so wonky that um, they couldn't stick properly to the picture and the command strips. Um, like, some of them were barely touching the wall. I did actually suspect when I put this picture up that it might fall, to be honest, because I remember sticking it up and I was just like, oh. Half the uh, these um, posts here, or the, these beams, aren't actually uh, touching the wall. So I'm going to um, do some stuff to try and s smooth that out. I need to wash up because uh, the place is a bit of a mess right now. So that shouldn't take me too long. So I'm going to quickly wash up. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to I'm going to take this shelf off because this is just screwed onto the wall. Um, so that will come off quite easily. Then I've got some filler. I've only got a little bit of filler. It needs to be skimmed with proper plaster and uh, made all smooth, but I don't have proper plaster, I just have filler. Um, so I'm gonna um, basically try and fill in, in as best as I can to make it as smooth as I can, and then let it dry, sand it down. Make it flat, basically, and these are moving. Now, I've got a bit of a work surface here. This, as far as we can tell, this used to be here, and it's kind of weird how we think it used to be, because there's a support there, and there's a hole in the ground there and as far as we can tell that's where it went but it would have had this rough edge showing so it's kind of weird but what we're going to do um, my dad's going to help me um, we're going to put this on this wall over here then uh, I'm going to turn these round the washing machine kind of has to be in this area for the plumbing so that's going to go in the corner the freezer is going to like come over here, fridge is going to be on top of it over here in the corner. I would prefer them to be together like they are now, but it's not going to work. Then I will have an extra work surface space. And um, because this area here, I've got stuff on here. Look, look at all these ready meal containers need to go to recycling. Um, it's fine, but my microwave is on the floor. Now the reason there's brown tape on it is because I used to have the microwave on the washing machine, but every time it span, I thought it was going to fall off um, because of the vibration. Then I decided actually, do you know, the vibrations are probably not doing the microwave any good, which is why it's on the floor. But if I have the work surface, which I have, then the microwave can go on that. Now, I know what you're thinking. Terry, you've lived in that house, or whatever it is, this annex, for like a year and a half, and you haven't done it. And I'm like, no, no, I haven't. I've had no money. I've, I mean, I'm working now. Um, I've only just got to the point where I can afford to do more things. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Okay, so job number one, wash up all this crap so it shouldn't take long. Um, it's not as bad as it looks. Most of it is just like glasses and stuff. And um, yeah, and then uh, try and make the wall a bit smoother. The two pigeons. They like to sit on my fence. Right, so I've washed up. I've just stacked a few things here that would have normally lived over here. Because um, it's a lot better. Um, basically, um, I've been lacking motivation lately. Um, but I decided that by listening to Ellie Golding extremely loudly would help with my motivation. And it did, so that's good. Anyway, so I now need to take this shelf off the wall. So this will come off quite easily. It's just held on by a few screws and then um, take these command strips off and uh, then I'm going to attempt to make the wall kind of semi-smooth. It is really ripply and wavy and bumpy. It doesn't really show on the camera 
but it is all over the place, trust me. I don't know who put this place together, but they obviously didn't have a clue what they were doing. Um, yeah, so uh, that's uh, the next step. <laughs> basically because I needed to use so much filler. I used um, a bag and a half of uh, poly filler and four pots of this Tesco stuff. Made a right mess, but anyway, it is now kind of smooth. I didn't realize it was so concave. Um, so it needs moving down a bit more. Um, so what I'm gonna do, is I've got an electric sander, uh, I've got a uh, vacuum cleaner that can um, handle this kind of stuff. So that plugs in there like so, and then I'm basically going to sand it down, make it all a lovely. Uh, kitchen is a bit of a mess right now, um, unfortunately, um, but um, I'll work around the mess. <laughs> time it's painted and I've put stuff back on there, um, I think that will be okay. As good as I'm going to get it anyway. Anyway, but my tinnitus is now a million times worse. I suffer with quite bad tinnitus. I don't think I've ever mentioned that before in a video, but I do. And um, yeah, now, um, now it's whistling like crazy. All right, I'm going to finally start painting. Um, so I've got my brush, my paint. I do have rollers as well, but I actually prefer just using a brush. Plus it's really hassy to clean this stuff out around here because uh, we've just basically got a, uh, a septic tank. We can't just have all the paint and stuff going down there because it needs to be kept in a certain way so that uh, the bacteria can do its job to break everything down. So uh, in the old days where I used to live, I'd just get a roller, wash it under the tap, clean it all out. Can't do that here. It is a bit of a hassle sometimes to be honest. So I'm just gonna use a brush. I'm wearing some old clothes, I don't care if they get ruined, and uh, yeah, I'm just going to do this corner first, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the shelf back up, because over here, I've got a ton of stuff, I pan the camera around, everything's sort of just piled over there, um, so I'm going to do that corner, and then basically, once that's done, get the shelf back up, I'm then going to pile everything back in that corner, and then this area will be clear, which I can paint, but uh, tomorrow, um, going to be moving the fridge and everything around to uh, get the worktop in. I probably won't film that because uh, my dad is going to be helping me with that and I don't really want to show my family on camera so I'll just do a before and after on that one. Anyway, um, to the painting. I'm not going to time lapse this. I've done some time lapses already on this video. I'm literally going to um, cut the camera now and then um, turn it back on when I'm done. It is uh, the next day, or is it two days later? I don't know, I lose track. Anyway, so this area's been done. I haven't put the picture back up yet because I still want to paint these walls and I, there's no point putting the picture up if I'm going to carry on painting. Um, I've just put this up for now to get it out of the way um, because it was in the way. Um, so next, going to um, move these around. So I'm going to finally get this put over here. Um, I was going to paint the wall first but that kind of hasn't happened and I'm not 100% sure I actually want to have the same colour green. I don't mind the green, it's okay, um, but I don't know, I'm just thinking maybe having a different colour on this side, I don't know. We'll see how much paint I have left at the end. Anyway, so that's what it looks like at the moment. Um, yeah, it's coming along nicely. As you can see, I have cleaned up the work surface a little bit. I've still got some stuff over here I need to wash up, but that'll only take a minute. Um, yeah, so we're getting there. Right, quick update, you can see how bad the state of the wall is. You can see down here, it's just terrible. This waste pipe um, is leaking because it wasn't joined up. It was literally just sort of 
sitting next to it. That's where the waste from the washing machine used to come. Use the washing machine now. I'll have to take this tape off. Um, so I think the plan is to turn this around because the washing machine is going to be over here. Obviously that's pointing the wrong way. Have a waste pipe put on that doesn't leak. And then so much needs to be done with the wall. It's just in a terrible, terrible state. Uh, yeah, but that's that's where we're at at the moment. Right, update. We decided to put the pipe facing upwards because it's easier to access from above once this board is back in place. Um, I'm going to clean under here. It's quite wet and it's just needs generally cleaning because it's a bit grim. Uh, but we're getting there slowly. I've sanded this down. The wall is actually all over the place. Worse than that one over there. Um, but uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Progress report. We've got the battens in. We did put the worktop on here just to see if it fits, and it does. We're in the process of putting this board back over the uh, the pipes and put the machine back in place. Almost uh, got this stage complete. We're putting the washing machine back in place, but the board that was here covering the pipes uh, just needs a bit of an adjustment so the pipe can fit through more easily. Then once that's in place and plumbed in, then uh, we can uh, get this look, uh, properly on there, and that will look good. And uh, we've established that the wall here, so this this wall here is is different to this wall here. It's quite obviously different, but this wall here is probably about two millimeters thick. We that might be an exaggeration. It's probably like three millimeters thick. Whatever. It's very thin. Very poor quality, but luckily we're not putting anything load bearing on that wall. And um, the work surface used to be on that wall, which is why there's great big holes in it. One more thing, this plug socket here is new. Uh, about a week, no, about a month ago, I'm not sure. Um, my alarms went off, I've got heat alarm in here, smoke alarm in the living room. And uh, my alarms went off, it was about 5, 5.30 in the morning, waking me up. I don't know why, oh I didn't know why. Um, but we think the reason the alarms might have gone off is because the old plug socket had clearly had shown evidence of melting because I couldn't see it because it was hidden by my fridge by my fridge um, but um, we had a look at it it was clearly had signs of melting and one of the wires just fell straight out so it, it was wired in badly the washing machine is now in place the freeze is now in place the washing machine's just done a test spin it just did a quick uh, rinse and drain uh, just to make sure that nothing down here is leaking which it isn't and then uh, next thing we're going to do is get the worktop stick it back in place and we know it fits because we've already had it on here once and tested it and then um, put in side panel and everything and yeah it should be good right, so we've got the worktop in it's just sitting at the moment it's, it's not screwed or anything but something that we noticed because i said at the start of the video it was obvious that the worktop had been here because there was a bracket here which we've taken out and you can see on the floor where it was drilled in and there's no evidence on the wall or the floor or anywhere that this worktop has ever been here apart from the fact this wall goes at some weird cockeyed angle in relation to this one. It's not 90 degrees at all, but this is a perfect cut, or near enough perfect, to the weird wall. So it must have been here at some point. Um, but all the evidence suggests that it was in the middle of the kitchen over here. So it's very strange. No idea where it used to be. But anyway, this is where it is now, so it's just sitting there at the moment, it's not screwed in. Um, yeah, we're getting there. It is, uh, well I suppose it's technically Tuesday, it's quarter to two in the morning. And um, I haven't done any more painting yet, but I just wanted to show you uh, this wall here. If you remember I was saying this wall is really bad. This is where I've tried smoothing down all the raised areas. I'm not going to spend ages filling up with filler like I did over there because it's going to be hidden by my freezer. But a lot of this, all these bits here were raised up really high, so I've sanded them down. Um, but it is still a bit all over the place. Um, the, this has been uh, finished off, so that's got a cover on it now. There's a skirting board around there that needs to be painted. I'll do that. We've put a middle um, 
piece of wood in there because I was uh, worried that because the walls are so weak and because there was such obvious damage to the wall from where the workshop used to be, I was worried about the weight being on it. So even though it's got um, more than enough screws in, in the battens holding it to the wall um, for a normal work surface to a, a wall, um, we've got more of that. <laughs> this support on the side is really thick. That was actually supposed to be a shelf to go up here because I didn't realise we had one that matched that one. Um, and this is a piece of wood that's in the middle so that's all screwed in. So it's got way more support than you'd normally have for a workshop of this size. Probably like two times as much support. But basically that's just because I just don't trust the walls. I just don't trust that they're strong enough to hold a load because they're so poorly put together, they're so weak. But now because it's got all the extra support, um, it should really be quite strong. I wanted to maybe put a folding collapsible table here, um, but we've decided against it. We just don't trust that we'll be strong enough. Basically, we think if we put anything on, on that bit at all, anything at all, it will just make more holes because we've spent ages filling in the holes and it's just so thin. Um, so that's just going to be left plain. Um, my idea of having a collapsible table there, I like that idea. I'm going to have to find something else um, that I can get. Um, but um, for, yeah, that's where we're at the moment. But for the paint, I've decided what I'm going to do. Obviously, this paint is a lot more green than I thought it was going to be. Um, but what I've decided, I'm going to dilute it. Here it is. Um, here's my brush um, sealed up in a, a glove so it doesn't dry out. Um, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white and do along here so it's slightly paler. Then I'm going to add a little bit more white and do along this wall around the window. Then I'm going to add a little bit more white and do this wall and then a bit more white and then gradually then it will meet up back here at um, the thinnest point where the two will meet. So this is like going to be the vivid green and this will be really pale. I'm now going to start painting um, all this and um, I've got some white paint which I'm going to add into my green paint which is currently off camera. Here it is. So remember uh, I said I was going to do uh, add a little bit here, a little bit there, so it's going to, the green is going to get paler as it goes around. I've no idea if this is going to look rubbish or brilliant, who knows, um, but I'm going to have to live with it whatever the consequences. Um, so I've got some old tatty clothes on and uh, I'm going to get painting. Well, first I'm going to add a little bit of white to the green, not too much. And then uh, as I go around, I'll add a bit more so it will become paler and paler. But while I'm going to do that, I'm going to switch you to a different camera that I've never used on my channel before because it has a much wider angle um, than uh, this camera does. There is slightly uh, fisheye effects on the edges, but that's fine. And uh, all right, let's see how I get on. <laughs>
final part of this video, I've been waiting ages for my fridge to shut up. The pump on it is getting really loud lately. Um, anyway, um, I, I can't be bothered to wait any longer, so let's have a quick tour of the kitchen as it is right now. Uh, this is uh, obviously where things are positioned now. The pipe work is behind that box, so that's all been neatened up. This was uh, where the bad floor was. It's got skirting board now. This whole floor needs replacing. I mean, it's. I mean, as you can see here, it's rippling. I mean, it moves around like waves and stuff, and it, it's not actually attached to the ground. Um, I've got my pictures back up. Again, as I said earlier, these walls are just not strong enough to hold up cupboards. They probably fall down, so that's why I've just got the shelves there. And uh, yeah, that is where I am at, at the moment. I want to change this. Um, I don't like this hob or stove if you're in America because this is the only one that's actually capable of boiling water. These three here just don't get hot enough to boil water. And plus with it being right by the wall, um, I might get splashes and things. In fact, I think you can see a little splash there. So I want to get another one where the uh, main ring is on this side, far away from the wall. This is going to be mounted under here eventually. I'm going to put a camera on there for if I do kitchen videos. And that is uh, it. That is where I'm at. And the woodwork, like the white woodwork, the skirting board and stuff, needs a bit of paint. Um, I'm not going to do that in this video. Um, I'd probably just do that off camera. The fire extinguisher needs to be put back on the wall. Um, but yeah, that is uh, pretty much it done for now. Uh, apart from a, a little paint work with the white paint. And it's so much bigger in here. I know it's the same size room, but just rearranging things. Um, so they're over there, and I've got this space over here as before. It feels so much bigger because before, I had like everything here, and, and yeah, it's just much, much better layout. And obviously having the microwave up here instead of on the floor, because it, it was on the floor down here before, and actually having it up here, that is it's so much better. Um, yeah, the only problem I've got now is this stupid fridge is becoming really noisy. Like, fridges do become noisy after a while. You have them for a few years and then they start um, becoming noisy. I've noticed it a bit more since I've put it up here. But I think it like getting moved about, to be honest. Um, fridges don't tend to like that. But, um, yeah, that is where I am at with the kitchen. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you on another video. Bye.